Mark, that must be pretty deflating, having pushed Manchester United so hard all afternoon. Yeah, we're, we're desperately disappointed uh, not to take something out of the game today. Yeah, I think um, the performance from my place was, was fantastic today. I thought we, uh, we had a game plan uh, we'd worked on all week in terms of being really positive when uh, we were looking to break. Uh, needed to be nice and solid, which we were. And I think most people would agree in the, in the first half, we, we were arguably... Um, should have been 3-4-1 uh, to the good uh, because United really hadn't created a great deal in open play apart from the goal that they got. I uh, just felt we uh, we always looked dangerous on the break and um, and had clear good chances that on another day we we would have taken. Uh, second half we uh, we played well again. Um, we probably uh, lost a little bit of uh, our ability to, to carry the ball into the opposition's half when Marco Anautovic, who had a really good day today, uh, when he had to go off, that just affected us somewhat. But we kept going, and um, in the end, I thought we were going to see it out. But uh, uh, the two goals they scored are disappointing because once, once again, it's once from a set play, and in fairness, the ball that was stood up to the far post for the winner was was a good ball and it was dispatched. But uh, the kid who scored shouldn't have been on the pitch, in my view. But um, that's. Those are the decisions that go against you. In terms of what we did on the day, I thought we contributed really, really well to, to a good game. And I uh, don't think anybody would have begrudged, begrudged us the three points, let alone one. In the end, we got none. What was wrong with Arnautovic? Because obviously, as you said, he was uh, dominating large sections of the first half and he was a good outlet for you. Yeah, he, he, was, a little, he was a little bit ill in fairness to him. And, and he did well to, to complete as much of the game as he did at half time. We were a little bit worried that he. He wouldn't be able to go out for the second half, but fair, fair play to him. He went out and, and tried to, to keep going, but um, uh, it wasn't, wasn't possible for him to, to continue, unfortunately. And, it, and I think that did affect us somewhat. You mentioned the possible red card for Hernandez. It was a bit niggly at times. What was going on with Ryan Shawcross at half-time? I think he got a yellow card at half-time. Um, well, apparently... Um, uh, Van Persie, I think, flicked his leg, um, and it was a little bit close to, to Ryan's face. I think. I think that's what they say. I haven't seen it, but uh, um, it was something or nothing. So we didn't want to get involved in anything like that because it, obviously that was their frustration coming out because they, they've been second best in the first half.